Hey loves, how are you all doing? I hope you're all keeping well and today I want to show you how I achieve this rooted but bright ash blonde tone in my hair by doing baby lights, which is just a fancy schmancy term for very finely weaved foils. So this method of foiling will give you kind of like a shadow root effect. So as it grows out, you'll see a combination of your natural color mixed in with the lightened hair. So this is my own personal routine that I do at home in between visits with my stylist and it's just a wonderful way to brighten up your base color. And one of the plus sides to doing this technique is that as your color begins to grow out, you'll see a more natural regrowth as opposed to that harsh line of demarcation. However, if you are after a more solid blonde look, you could weave your foils a little bit thicker and you could also do back-to-back -back foils. I also wanted to mention that when you are touching up your regrowth, you wanna make sure that you're only putting the lightener on your regrowth and you're not overlapping onto your already existing lightened hair. Um, it's very important that you don't do that because that can cause breakage and it can just fry your hair. So it's not a good look at all. And you wanna make sure you've got enough on your brush that you're really saturating all the hair strands and not putting it too close up to your scalp here because bleach will swell a little bit, which means it will enlarge. And if it goes onto your scalp, it's gonna leave some yellow blotchy spots and that's not a great look either. <laughs> So I want to break this down as simply and cost effective as I can for you guys. I also have a video that I did maybe about a year or so ago on DIY foils at home. I'll link that one for you guys as well, along with everything else that I use today. Okay, so here is what you're going to need to achieve this look. So you'll need some hair clips. I've just got two butterfly clips and I've also got this one here which I call my crocodile clip, a tail comb. These are amazing and I highly recommend you get one. They're so cheap and they are really great in sectioning out fine strands of hair. My comb's not looking too great at the moment. I've got heaps of these, but I like this one just to section out my foils. If you didn't have one of these, you could always use the end of your color brush. You're going to need a foil. Now I used to purchase my foil from my beauty supplier already pre-cut. It's way cheaper to just go to the supermarket and buy some. I have this special little, it's not really special, but it's a little sturdy container that will break off your foil for you nice and precisely. And then You'll see this later on in the tutorial, but when you get your piece of foil, you're gonna wrap it over the tail comb when you go to put it in, because that's going to push it up nice and tight against your scalp, and so you can get just up really close to your root. Of course, you're going to need your coloring brush and a coloring bowl. You don't absolutely need a coloring bowl, you could use any old bowl your lightening powder. So I always like to choose blue powder. You can get it in purple and white as well. I like the blue because blue on the color wheel cancels out gold. So while it is processing, it's kind of canceling out those yellow tones. And you're going to need your developers. Now I'm going to be using a 20 volume and a 30 volume. Depending on how many shades you're wanting to lift, my natural colour is a level 7 and I'm kind of like a mousy, ashy, blonde level 7 and I'm wanting to reach a level 10. So I need to lift three levels. So I want to use a 30 volume developer in order to do that. But because I'm gonna do some falls at the back of my hair and they're gonna stay on for quite some time, I'm going to use the 20 volume first to do the back because it's gonna be sitting on longer than what the front is. And then applying the 30 volume at the front, it's all going to kind of catch up to each other. So that's why I'm using the two. 
if I was only going to do a couple of foils through the top, I'd go ahead and just use the 30 volume because that wouldn't take me very long to do. But anything that I know is going to take me a little bit of time, I want it to sort of be processing at the same time so you get that even result. You can also get a 40 volume developer and I do use that sometimes if I was only doing a small amount. I wouldn't recommend you doing that unless you are an experienced stylist because 40 volume is very harsh and it can break your hair very easily and damage it. So I would stick with your 20 and your 30 volume depending on how many shades you need to lift your hair to get to that kind of inside of a banana, you know that really pale yellow, you want your hair to look that kind of colour before you rinse it in order for the toner or purple shampoo to work on your hair. Next is my good old trusty Fenola No Yellow Shampoo. This is the best shampoo I have found that cancels out all my brassy yellow tones and I just love it so much. I can't really show you the colour. Oh, I can a little bit. See how deep a purple that is? That's what you want to get a really good result. If you buy a purple shampoo that's a pale purple, it's not going to do much to your hair. And I only need to leave this on really a couple of minutes. If you leave it on too long, it will turn your hair like a silver grey purple colour. And today I'm not actually going to tone my hair. I'm just going to show you how I get this result with my lightener and my purple shampoo. However, if I was going to tone my hair, I like to use a 9A which is a level 9 ash or if my hair is quite light I could probably do a 10A but it depends on what level you get your hair to because the toner is not going to lighten your hair anymore you're wanting to sort of deposit that color onto your hair so you need to be the same level or lighter to achieve that tone that you're wanting to get color won't lighten color not in this Instance. And in terms of sectioning your hair, you really want to make sure that you're doing clean, straight sections. This will just help your colour turn out seamless and make it so much more easier for you when you're working your way up. So I like to go ahead and part my hair down straight to my ears and clip these parts out of the way and then I work from the back upwards. And I like to kind of stagger my foils just so that it's covering right around to where my front foils are going to kind of meet. If this is too tricky for you, don't worry about doing that. You could just do foils going straight up the back. I like to stagger them because I have a spot right here. A cowlick that likes to separate and when it does if I haven't colored that section I have like a bald spot because it's my natural color it just looks bald if I don't make sure that I get lightener weaved into that area so that's why I like to kind of stagger them up and then it'll just end up being one at the top here and then I'm gonna start down the lower sections here and work my way up so all the back ones will be 20 vol and then I will do a couple on this side, a couple on this side in 20 vol, and then I'll work my way up with the 30 volume developer. But you will see all of this when it comes time for me to do it. Okay, so if you'd like to see how I achieved this bright blonde ash color, then pop on an old t-shirt, grab your gloves. I do recommend that you wear gloves. I, however, won't be wearing gloves as they drive me nuts. And let's get foiling. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like now. Pretty dull and lifeless and with tons of regrowth. So when it comes to colouring your hair, you want to make sure that your hair isn't clean. You know, the dirtier, the better. Mine is currently about day three, I think it is. So it's looking a little bit greasy. So you want to just take a section like this. And then I like to do baby lights. So I like to go in and then just do all these little tiny weaves. Drop the section so it looks like that. And then 
what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of foil, fold it over your tail comb so that you can get that piece of foil up really tight and close to your scalp, just like this. Let it go. And then you're going to go ahead and then just paint your colour onto the regrowth. Okay, so I think we're ready to get started. We'll be starting in the back and I'll be setting up a mirror here and I've got a mirror here so that I can see what I'm doing. So when it comes to mixing your bleach, I like to take one scoop and then I kind of mix it to the consistency that works for me and my hair. I recommend that you're following the instructions on the bleach and the developer that you purchase. But what I'm going to do is I've got my bowl and my bleach. I keep my bleach in this airtight container and then I just have this little scoop here. So because I don't have a whole lot of foils that I'm doing at the back, I don't need a whole scoop for my 20 bowl. So I'm just going to mix up probably just under half a scoop. So that's it sitting in there. Take my 20 vol, give it a little shake. And I just like to mix it to a pasty consistency. You don't want it too thick, but then you don't want it too running that it's going to seep out of the foil. So here it is in there. I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix. So here it is here. So see how it's not dripping off the brush? It's just that kind of pasty kind of texture. All right, that looks good. So now I've got my mirror set up in the back here and that's perfect for me to be able to look into this one to get the reflection in this one of the back of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair. So you wanna take a section from the top down to, I go just behind my ear. So about that much. And then I will repeat that process on the other side. Okay, wow. This is a vibe, you guys. <laughs> okay, so now that everything is clipped up and out of the way, we are ready to begin. is all of the back section done. I've kind of staggered them a little bit just so that it covers this portion here up on my crown that likes to part and make me look bold. <laughs> so we're going to start now at the lower left hand side. So what I'll do is remove this clip and section off a fine piece down the bottom and then clip this away. So I'm gonna take my tail comb and weave out these fine sections of hair. Like this, drop the lower part. My foil, fold it over. Place it in. And as you're pulling down on the hair, you're pushing up on the comb. So you're getting really nice and close to that root. I'm going to just saturate the hair there, fold the foil up one, fold it up once more, and then take your comb and underneath, you don't have to do this step but I like to, there's a little fold where I like to just push that up nice and tight, and then voila, there's your first foil done. Then you're going to...
section out a subsection and so that is just a slice that you're going to leave sitting there and not touch and that's going to give you that bit of dimension in your colour. If you want to be super blonde then you could go ahead and foil that one there as well and that's doing back to back foils. But I like to leave that one out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side and then I'm going to mix up my new colour which will be the bleach and the 30 volume and just continue going up the rest of my head. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes, so we're going to take a little sneak peek and see how it's travelling. So I'm just going to scrape some of the colour off and make sure that it matches in with my ends colour. And it does. It looks really good. So you can see that it's this pale yellow colour, which is perfect. Let's go rinse it off and I'll dry it up and style it and show you how it turns out. Okay you guys, we are all done. I went ahead and styled my hair and popped in my halo extensions which I will link below for you guys. I also have a video on them and how I achieve this kind of beachy look but if you'd like to see an updated version be sure to let me know down in the comments. I popped in a heat protectant spray and also some Moroccan oil and it's important that you use a protectant spray if you're going to use um, hot tools like your blow dryer, your curling wand, your straightener just to really keep the integrity of the hair in good condition and the Moroccan oil just gives your hair a little bit of shine I feel so it just makes it feel soft and shiny and just beautiful and I love it I love the colour so much so you can see the pops of brightness coming through along with the natural still to just break up that color so it's not so solid and I love this effect so that when it grows out I'm not going to have that thick dark banding um, it's going to have more of a natural flow to it so this is what it looks like at the back as you can see I have no bald spots which is amazing because I have that kind of cowlick here that just makes me look bald. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I don't want to look bald you guys. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Please be sure to let me know if you go ahead and try it out and how it went for you. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll get back to you and please remember to like subscribe and share hit your bell notification I love you all so very much and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video okay bye guys